It's raining. It's kind of pouring. And Noah is going to make another tape recorder demonstration video. The music that you're about to hear has been recorded off of this machine via the auxiliary input. Uh, this particular machine is from uh, approximately 1972. I found a uh, manual of it listed online. And the guy actually listed um, the print date of the manual, and it was sometime in 72. I believe this was made for Magnavox by Sanyo, as most of Magnavox's electronics were made by Sanyo. This features AM and FM, with or without AFC, which is automatic frequency control, which kind of prevents the radio from drifting frequencies as you're listening. End of tape alarm, because it has no auto stop, and you'll see why in a moment. Now I'll give you an overview of the layout of the radio. This is a very high quality machine. First taking a look at the back, you'll see nothing. Turn this around and uh, you'll be greeted with a 120 volt AC input as well as a 6 volt, well no that's not 6 volt, that's probably 12, uh, DC input. This is the front with all your controls, which include um, stuff like speaker on off, source selector, um, volume, tone, record button, handle, and tape transport controls. This is another tape recorder that happens to be controlled by knob, like uh, my Bradford 89300, which I have featured on my channel. Looking at the right side, you see the uh, ports for the mic and remote, auxiliary, and headphone. The back of the machine has your battery compartment for the six D-cell batteries, if you can see that. The compartment is clean, but the um, compartment cover, the foam is completely missing, as you might be able to tell, which is fine. I'd rather have missing foam. Uh, other than uh, crumbling dry rotted foam that's a mess to take care of. You have your uh, compartment for the microphone, which kind of just fell out on the table. That's where it goes. That's pretty much the layout of the machine. As you um, have heard, this records really well, and uh, I will show you the recording function. This is the original remote mic that it came with, so I'm going to uh, plug in the uh, microphone because, well, you kind of have to. This has no um, internal microphone. But, um, the microphone that it came with is actually really quite good, so, um, that is good. Alright. And now, um, let me make sure that the remote switch on the microphone is off. It is. To begin recording, since this is a uh, knob transport, you hold down the recording button, which is here, and twist the knob into play mode, like that. And it isn't recording um, because the mic switch is off. You can uh, speak into the microphone and um, have it act as a PA. This has both automatic and manual level control. 
right now I'm on manual level control. Adjusting the volume also adjusts the level of the recording. What I'm going to do is turn off the speaker. Turn the volume knob all the way to the left. But you heard a click. Now it's on automatic level control. I've turned the switch on on the microphone. Now I'm making a recording on the Magnavox 1V9041 using automatic level control. I'll now speak at arm's length distance of the microphone. You can tell because uh, you're able to see the microphone more closely because I'm holding it up close. This microphone also has a uh, stand in the back, a convenient stand, so you can set it on the table. I'm going to um, turn it to manual level control. I turn the level all the way up. Now the level's all the way up. I'm speaking at um, arm's length distance from the microphone at a lower volume. This has an analog VU meter. And now I'm going to proceed to overdrive the recording. Overdrive. Overdrive. I turned the switch off. And now I'm going to stop it. This feature is, um, this has AC bias recording, if you haven't been able to tell. AC bias recordings are high quality and better than DC bias. We'll listen to what we've heard as soon as we turn the speaker on. Let's, uh... I just recorded over the music here. I've turned the switch on on the microphone. Now I'm making a recording on the Magnavox 1V9041 using automatic level control. I'll now speak at arm's length distance of the microphone. You can tell because uh, you're able to see the microphone more closely because I'm holding it up close. This microphone also has a uh, stand. Fast forward a bit. Arm's length distance from the microphone at a lower volume. This has an analog VU meter. I'm gonna whisper in the microphone now because the level is so high that I hear myself overdrive. Mm. Recording. Overdrive. Overdrive. That's always fun. And now we will uh, lift up the telescopic antenna. And this is where it kind of has some problems. Um, this is pretty much the only problem with the machine because. Um, what I'm thinking is a piece of metal broke off inside so where the bracket is still screwed on but the antenna broke off the bracket. As you can see it moves rather freely. But um, you can move it up to where the bracket is and it moves, you know, it, it's not free but you can uh, pull it out and it moves really freely. So, um, and this is kind of why I said it's a tape recorder that happens to have a, uh, radio. Radio reception on it isn't the greatest. That's AM, which I'll not be demonstrating because, uh, the laptop produces lots of interference. But, this thing performs decently on AM. AM sounds really good. When you couple this thing with a passive loop, it's, it's amazing. So, uh, we'll tune around the FM band and... Yo, what's up? This is your boy Sean from New Hope Elementary. You know. You can probably hear it get louder. It's quiet on stations that don't have a lot of uh, good reception, which I don't like that too much. Bye to answer all of your questions. Let's see if we can get 95.7.
Probably not, huh? No, can't. That's Make why a I uh, recording off the radio. Now, um, I have it set to automatic level control. I'm going to press the record button and... Yeah, lots and lots of noise. Is it the greatest? So, um, I turned the speaker monitor off. Because, um, yeah, it's pretty loud when you're recording with automatic level control. It does not record the mic when it records the radio like a couple of other tape recorders do. You can turn off the switch and it'll stop recording. So you can just use this as a remote uh, when you're recording the radio. So um, it's a cool way to pause since this has no pause. We will stop. Turn speaker monitor back on. Well, the speaker and then... Uh, turn it back to tape. Listen to what we recorded. It has to be Charlotte's Classic Rock. 99.7, The Fox. So, uh, as you can see, it's a little distorted, but, um... It's not terribly bad. You can make a decent recording if you use manual level control. Automatic level control isn't the best uh, when you're recording with a station with, um really really strong reception but you know it's all right so uh that's the dis um overview of the magnavox 1v9041 it's a very very high quality machine hope you enjoyed watching the video learned something oh yeah i should mention that if you didn't know this if this actually was released in 72, it was released the same year that Magnavox released the Odyssey. No, I'm not a huge gamer person, but I did know that at least. Alright, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.